let's get seriously logical about big body physical play. First, I want you to take a beat and think about all the things you did when you were a kid that were big, physical, full body play. Here are some examples to get you thinking, like riding a bike, building a fort, making mud pies, playing kick the can or four square or tether ball, hopscotch, jump rope. Now, you give it a try. All right, I can't see you, but I can guarantee that you have a smile on your face when you were doing that, when you were thinking about what you did and what the play you had when you were a child. That is Mother Nature's way of helping us love to move, so much so that we will do lots and lots of it. And every time we moved when we were kids, we were getting stronger. We were practicing motor patterns and we were helping our brains grow. That may sound crazy, but follow this logic. Everything you need to be successful in elementary school starts with a motor movement. So when there's no strength in the body and motor movements haven't been practiced enough, school is harder. On top of that, moving the body builds neural connections in the brain. How do we know? Well, 90% of brain growth happens in the first five years of life. We know the brain is growing because we watch our children's heads grow rapidly in those early years. As a matter of fact, the skull quadruples in size to accommodate massive brain growth in young children. Well, what causes the brain to grow? Experiences. Every new experience creates a new connection in the brain, a new synapsis. So for children, most experiences are new. They are making these connections rapidly and brain growth is happening very, very quickly. But more importantly for children, almost every experience is physical. And most of those physical experiences are based in movement. So it's movement that makes their brain grow. Consider that we come into this world moving. We can't talk, gesture, read, or add and subtract. All we can do is move. Because it is movement that is the foundation on which all learning is built. Bottom line, when kids aren't moving, their brains aren't growing. Now, as adults, we know the more we move, the stronger the body gets. For children who are experiencing rapid brain growth, who are learning how to use their bodies, the more they move, the more they build strength in their bodies and help their brains grow. In other words, when kids are still, their bodies don't get stronger. When their bodies are still, they don't practice motor patterns. When their bodies are still, their brains fail to wire correctly and they do not grow like they could. So sedentary children are going to have a harder time in school. They're going to struggle with learning. They're going to be more frustrated and discouraged. What do we need to do? We need to get kids moving. They need to put down the technology and get active in big body physical play, just like we did. In so doing, they will build strength in their bodies, the strength they need to play more and the strength they need to use their bodies in school to learn. Because it is movement that is the foundation on which all learning is built. The foundation on which all learning is built. learning is built. We need to get kids moving. We need to get kids moving. Get kids moving. So let's get out of the way and let kids play. <laughs>